So now we are getting ready to do the project uh, which is a gesture driven drone simulation drone simulator which I alluded to you just a, a little while ago. So we are calling it the air glider or air glide and it is going to be a device gesture controlled uh, movement of the drone. Later once you are happy with this project probably you can take a upgrade of this project which will be an actual field drone. Uh, so it can move on the field based on gesture because these are battery operated uh, wearable devices. So you can take the device and do this with the device in the open field and you can see the action uh, where the drone actually moves up based on your gesture would be very interesting to see. Uh, so let us go to the uh, further and see what is it I am just summarizing what we are going to do. So we are going to develop a robust gesture recognition system uh, capable of accurately interpreting hand movements and translating them into commands for the drone that is what I have been talking about. Uh, and then we are going to write some drone kit uh, code which uh, is remember based on the Mavlink protocol which takes the input command and converts it into action which triggers the drone simulation. Uh, so, our largely our architecture is like this uh, which kind of uh, again I alluded to in the morning uh, in the earlier session. So, we have this uh, uh, on the ESP32 side we have basically the recognition of the gesture uh, in conjunction with the IMU 6050 uh, which uh, is uh, basically going to record the readings and then based on the ML model which I downloaded from uh, uh, from the edge impulse uh, uh, stuff, I am going to do the inference. Once I know uh, what is this gesture, once I recognize the gesture, is it left, right, top, bottom, whatever it is, then I am going to use the web socket client on the ESP32. ESP32 is that small wearable device and we are going to go through a Wi-Fi LAN to a laptop uh, where a web server is going to run which has the web socket server and then it is going to use the drone kit API via the MAV proxy to talk to the drone kit uh, simulator and uh, we are going to see the drone simulated to go up, down, left, right, whatever, whatever the gesture which uh, we have been able to recognize. So that is actually the whole uh, trajectory of our project. Okay. Uh, so, what all uh, do we need for setting up the hardware? Uh, well, in this case we might not need the uh, camera because the camera may not be crucial. We will definitely need the ESP32 S3 which is uh, the with the sense module uh, and we will need the MPU 6050 uh, which is the uh, sensor, the accelerometer and uh, for recognizing the gestures, the XY coordinates, XYZ coordinates. Uh, this camera module may be not needed, but it will be needed for our subsequent projects. So might as well uh, have it. Uh, now this is the uh, MPU I guess, uh, the, the actually the, the uh, I will call it an accelerometer. So it has a serial clock, serial data. Uh, it also has provi provision for uh, auxiliary uh, serial data, but we will need only the SDA and the SD uh, 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 SCL lines, we will need a clock and the data lines, we will obviously need to supply uh, the supply and the ground. Uh, so that is the setup which we are going to use, it is a very simple de device which we are going to piggyback onto our um, ESP32 so that it can recognize the uh, accelerometer uh, action. Uh, so this is how it is connected. Uh, as you can see the ground and the voltage is coming from the uh, ESP32 and the SD and SCL of the EDA of the ESP32 are connected appropriately to the clock and the serial data uh, uh, transmission for the uh, uh, 6050. So basically to enable the coordinates or the XYZ coordinates to be read uh, from the IMU here. Uh, Okay, so that that is uh, basically the uh, structure and uh, we, we are uh, this is the setup. 
So, when I show you this device uh, and uh, it is kind of bound to it, uh, maybe uh, I can focus the camera on it a little more. So, this is the 6050, uh, this is the 6050 and this is the uh, uh, our main uh, device the ESP32. Uh, so, it is kind of piggybacked on it and uh, the pins are connected I think you can make out uh, the VCC, the ground, the SCL and the SDS they are appropriately connected to the uh, uh, ESP32's uh, leads. Uh, so, that is that is the setup. So, you will require to do a bit of soldering here to, to make that happen, uh, uh, but I think um, uh, you can take from us the devices which are pre-soldered into this so that we will give them to you. Uh, okay. So, that is the uh, hardware setup I guess uh, which is required. Uh, now, on the software side we will need these uh, setup which I will explain uh, subsequently.